And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got it. working woman in Chicago just ask me that? Yeah, I know. Uh, next week's gonna be crazy. My sisters wanna start looking for my dress. I have to hire a wedding coordinator. Family dinner's on Thursday, and Aunt Ruthie's coming from Hattiesburg. We've got the Wanda the Carlton Schmooze Fest for Mark Johnson's endorsement then. Guys wanna check out the funk box? The funk box? Yeah, and before you get started, it's no big deal. Well, please. I'm not threatened by those women at the funk box. Yeah. There is nothing that that place offers that you can't get right here. <laughs> exactly. Come here. Just hanging with the fellas. Yeah. I thought that's what the basketball court was for. More cider? Mm -hmm. I thought you said you were cool. I am. <clears throat> you know what? I think I'll stay home. <laughs> You're silly. Well, I like that idea. Mm. And from now on, <laughs> when you do, Nothing. This is my girl, Lauren. Ah. Hi. Nice meeting you. So, um, what you guys up to? I'm trying to talk your friend into going to a reading of Invisible Man. Oh, you obviously don't know my boy real well. Last book he read was Cat in the Hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see you just like your boy. Quick with the corny jokes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh, hey, guys. Hey, listen. I'll be right back, okay? All right, cool. What do you think? She seems nice. Nice? How about fine? Yeah, she's alright. Man, don't hate. You know she's it. Why well, is it that girl's name Lauren are always fine? My girl, Lauren Hill. Reggie, that's just two girls. Two fine girls. Man, I gotta go. 
Okay, check you later. I'll be hanging out with my woman. I wouldn't mind that you would be staying with us if we had to say. What about this one? Uh-uh. I love her, too. I just wish she wasn't coming until after I was married. Mm. You know, the last thing I need is her telling me what Mama would say if she were alive to see me shagging up. <laughs> Well, you know, Auntie Ruthie wasn't going to let you marry a man she's never met. Yeah. Mm -mm. And considering her own past, I doubt if she'll be judging your living arrangements. Really? Oh, I like that one. Uh-uh. You know, she might not judge you, but she'll definitely have an opinion. She always does. Why don't we get her a hotel? Yeah, like a really nice room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A room she won't want to leave. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Like, wait, wait, wait a minute. We can't have Mama's only sister come all this way and then put her in a hotel. Why not? She'll have a really nice, large, sweet room service. You guys, she's family. Yeah, yeah. She's blood. Mama's sister, et cetera, et cetera. Hook it up, T. Done. Oh, look at that. See? Now that is a dress. Bird. Look, that is just the... It's too low cut. It's too tight. Too bird. You know what? Y'all don't have any taste. That's what that is. Why do we have any taste? It's lingerie, bird. <laughs> okay. It's under the wedding dress. Okay. Cap. <laughs> I got the living room, bird. I don't need your help. Kelly, where's the baby doll's other shoe? Um, oh, here it is. When Big Mama's yeah. sister announced that she was coming for a visit, my moms and aunties agreed not to try to talk her out of it. Uh, can I get some help in here? I'm yeah, coming. Your sister. Thank you. They were hoping that her arthritic knee would start acting up and she'd cancel her trip. But she didn't. She reminded them that she used to be a singer and dancer. That knee didn't stop her then, and it wasn't going to stop her now. I'll get it. So Aunt Terry bought her a Greyhound okay. ticket. The only way she was willing to travel. Uh. Hi. Or why are you standing there with your mouth hanging open? I, I thought Uncle Lim was picking you up. Hey, who is it, son? It's Aunt Ruthie. What? Aunt Ruthie? Already? What? Aunt Ruthie? Ruthie. Ruthie. All right. Hey. Mm. Aunt Ruthie, hey! hey. No, we thought Lim was picking you up. Mm-hmm. How did you get here? Well, and where is Lim? I don't know where that child is. Stop asking me all those questions. Take my luggage upstairs. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, Ahmad, uh, uh, can he get back? Give me a second. Oh, are you tired? Oh, of course I'm tired. You know, this old lady, she don't do it like she used to. Oh, oh, God. Well, I can't believe that. Hey, well, Aunt Ruthie, if you're that tired, you might want to just go ahead and skip dinner and go straight to the hotel. What? What? The hotel? Can you, we didn't tell her yet. What is he talking about? Aunt uh, Ruthie, we thought that we would get you a nice large suite so you, you wouldn't be cramped. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't think I came all this way to stay in a hotel? I am so tired, I could sleep where I sit. But I think I need to spend some quality time with my grandnieces and nephew. Which means I'll be sleeping on the couch. Right, Emma? Yes. Yes what? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. That's better. Come over here, I want to talk to you for a moment. <clears throat> uh, do you think, perhaps, you might find old Auntie Ruth? Oh. Special little cup. That's right. Uh, I'm Ruthie Dip Snuff. A prim and proper southern snuff uh, dipper. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's really hard to believe Thank that she you. and Big Mama came from the same gene pool. Oh, yeah. Let me fix some breakfast. What? Don't what me. It's 5.30 in the morning. You should be up already. So how do you like your eggs? Uh, scramble's fine. Okay, wash your hands. Get to work. Uh, now what? Bring me the bread and the milk. I think I'll make it some French toast. So, Ahmad, what grade are you in now? Eighth. Oh, have mercy. Seems like yesterday, you were pissing the bed. <laughs> you been with any little girls yet? What? Come on. I, Ruthie, knows there ain't nothing but fast ones in the big city. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, I'm Ruthie, but I don't think this conversation's appropriate. 
This boy is 13 years old. You think he don't know how he got here? I know, but there's some things oh, that... please. Your father was always a fuss bucket. <laughs> uh, Ma, why, why don't you go get ready for school? Go ahead. Hurry up. Breakfast will be ready before you know it. Look, you need to talk to your aunt. What's wrong? I caught her trying to ask Ahmad if he's sexually active. What? I should have drove her crazy ass at the hotel myself. Okay. Breakfast is ready. Aunt Ruthie. I heard what your rude husband said, so don't say nothing to me. Especially if you're going to make excuses for that sorry-ass, disrespectful husband. I'm disrespectful. Kenny. Ahmad. Ahmad! Come help Aunt Rosie back. I've got to get the hell out of this house. Auntie. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, that's Reggie's girl. Letting some knuckleheads push up on her. Gotta let her know she's busted. Yes, ma'am. We'll see you later, Lauren. All right, well, hey. see you guys later. Hey, I'm hot, right? Right. Uh, have you seen his other series? Uh, not yet. You gotta see them. Uh, well, actually, I was on my way to the Invisible Man reading. Oh, I went to hear the first chapter. I guess you couldn't talk Reggie into coming. Huh. No, it's like you said. He hasn't read a book since Cat in the Hat. <sighs> Aunt Ruthie. Ooh, glad you're home. Get my bag. Oh, my feet hurt. It sure is hot out there. Is every cab okay. driving Chicago rude? I don't know how you all feel. Maxine. I really wish you'd stop looking at me like I that. I mean, okay, but I thought that... You thought I was staying with Maxine and that hand-pecked little husband of hers. It'll be a cold day in hell when I spend another night in that cramped little ugly house. I'm Ruthie. Hey, baby. What is this? Well, who put these things in this child's head? Makes him look like a little girl. Bert, I'm, I'm gonna have to pray on this, because, you know, I can't have my little grandnephew <clears throat> growing up to be a sissy. Okay, this is time for his lunch. All right, let's go. See, they're wearing, they're wearing braids now. Really? Mm -hmm. Now what? Uh, hey, did you know that this museum was named after... Uh, Jean-Baptiste de Pointe de Sable, the black man who first settled Chicago. Uh, the city's first election was held in his home, as was the first court hanger. He was a carpenter, a cooper, a miller, and probably a distiller. Oh. Uh, hey, which chapter did you hear? Three. Oh, beautiful, wasn't it? Well, it's Invisible Man, one of the greatest novels in American literature. Hey, write your number down. See, there's this really great Harlem Renaissance website. It has all this amazing info on Ralph Ellison. Wait a minute. What am I doing? Why am I exchanging numbers with my boy's girl? Uh, look, you're thinking this moment is weird. Exchanging numbers with your boy's girl? Oh, no. No, I'm cool. It's no big deal. are huge. Of course, I'm familiar with them. Yeah, I run the labor department. Well, actually, it runs me. It depends on how you look at it. <laughs> yeah. Look, would you do me the honor of sharing your business card? Of course. Go with it. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey. You see, you met the host. What? Yeah, Chris is Wendell's husband. Well, he didn't tell me that this was his wonderful home. Well, I'm uh, here so little that sometimes I forget. <laughs> Did you get enough of everything? Absolutely, it was perfect. Oh, Chris, there goes Steve. We got his card at the last party. We should probably go say hi. Of course, baby. Thanks again for coming. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> They seem nice. Yeah, we haven't talked, but 
uh, I'm sure she's going to give Mark Johnson that show deal. You okay? Having a good time? I'm fine. Yeah. How about you? Hey, couldn't be any better. Excuse me, champagne? No, thanks. No, thank you. Uh, another Perrier would be great. Thank you. Right away, sir. Hey, you want to meet some more people? Hey. Let's go over there. So, that was pretty much it. Did she say anything about me? Not really. She was so into the exhibit, that's all she talked about. Totally she's into some boring stuff, but it's cool when you look like that. Uh, hold on. Hello? I'm on. Yeah. Hey, it's Lauren. Are you on the other line? Um, uh, yeah, but I was just about to get off. What am I doing? Good, because I found that site. Uh, cool. Uh, hold on. Um, I gotta go. It's, it's for my pops. Dag, so did she say anything about me or not? Look, I really gotta go before I get in trouble. All right. Holler back when you can. All right. Hello? <laughs> Still here? Yeah, I'm trying to find Damon. You, uh, work out, huh? Yeah, I just... I try to get a run in a few times a week. Yeah, I thought so, because, uh, whew, you look pretty fit. Oh, but... Yeah, so I, uh, haven't seen Damon in quite a while. I, uh, made sure that I got your card. I bet you you really know how to make some noise. What? Mr. Carlton, I, I have to go find my fiance. I'm telling you, being an agent is not always glamorous. You know, sometimes I'm nothing more than a glorified gopher slash nanny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Nice to meet you. Hey. Whatever. Did you know what kind of party this was? Huh? They're in there wife swapping. <laughs> what if you don't have a wife? It's a swingers party, Damon. A swing party? Swing low, sweet cherry. I don't know. I'm ready to go. I had no idea when I gave him my business card what it was for. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so what did they do? Did they start undressing? What? Bird. Babe. Hey. Damon took Terry to an orgy. What? Mm-hmm. But they left before the action got started. My oh, man. You know, you two are disgusting. Why? It's not every day you get to go to one of those. I mean, it doesn't mean you have to participate. You should have seen him. Oh, bubbly. Actually enjoying himself around all those freaks. Why was he so bubbly? Drinking again? Of course not. You know, he said he had no idea what kind of party it was. Mm-hmm. What kind of party was it? It was a, um... Mm -mm. Oh, come on. Come on. Indulge an old lady. No, no, no. Okay, fine. Just tell me when we're going shopping for the family dinner, because there ain't nothing here. You know oh, what? Oh, I gotta go. You should talk to Bird. She'll help you with that list and take you to the store. I have to get to work. Bye. Me too. Bye, babe. That means you gotta get home early. Bring a piece of paper and a pencil because you have to make this grocery list. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Alon? Yeah? You've got company. Uh-oh. Hi. Hi. So, did you visit that website? Um, not yet. Yeah. How'd you find out where I live? Reggie lives right around the corner, remember? He pointed out your street the other day. So I came back and asked the first kid I saw which one's Ahmad's house. Oh. Do you believe that girls mature faster than boys? 
No. What will we do? Do not, do not, do not. Um, where's Reggie? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. What? You see, I've given this a lot of thought. And basically, we don't have anything in common. But I thought everything was cool between the two of you. I mean, Reggie thinks so, too. All he ever does is talk about how fine I am. He spends every dime of his allowance on me. He never has an opinion. Always wants to do whatever I want to do. Well, isn't that what girls want? That's not the type of boyfriend I want. Uh, um, look, I gotta get back to some homework. Okay. Back at 20. All right. Hey, brother in law. Yeah. Good. What's up? I heard about your extracurriculars last night. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I had no idea. So you throw back a few, you know, to loosen up? <laughs> what are you now, my mother? <laughs> That's what you want to call a man that towed your car out of a ditch a few days after a DUI, eh? Look, like, I'm not drinking. I ain't Terry, man. Don't try to bullshit me. I think you just found a way to hide it from me. Now, you promised me that you would not fuck up. You said you wouldn't put yourself or Terry at risk. Yeah, I know I gave you my word. But that doesn't mean you get to act like the voice of good sitting on my shoulder. Terry got a right to know if you got a problem before she walks down that aisle. Then tell her. Maybe I will. Good. Because I can't take much more of that Cliff Huxtable routine. Especially from you. From me, huh? Yes. Yeah. Ex-con got a lot of nerve, huh? Well, you know what? Fuck this. Bullshit. Have a cup of coffee. Yeah, maybe I will. All right. Have a good day. Well, he's still asleep. Sure he's okay? Yeah, he seems fine. You know, just a little tired, I guess. Oh, that boy don't know nothing about getting tired. I had to give him a little something of this, you know, to calm him down. Oh. Aunt Ruthie, say you didn't. No disrespect, Aunt Ruthie, but I can't have you giving alcohol to my baby. I heard your mama gave you plenty. Okay. What is this, Jay spit up again? Ruth, you missed your spit cup again? Would you hush your fuss? All right, listen. Aunt Ruthie, look, you know we are so glad to have you here. But you are going to have to respect this house and the way we raise our son. Right. You think I have disrespected my sister's house? No, 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 no. You girls have become very ungrateful. Look, Aunt Ruthie, look, all of... Oh, don't you put your hands on me. As God is my witness, you will get your third strike right here and now. Look. All right, okay, you know baby, what? just I... go check on the baby, I, please. I can't Oh, Ruthie, please. Uh, it was wrong. Huh? Well, it looks like you got something very serious on your mind. Yeah. You know Reggie. Hey, he eats up everything in the kitchen. Of course I know him. <laughs> well, he has his girl that... that... what? I bet I know where this is going. Okay. You like it? Oh, boy, that's a tough one. Well, I don't know if I like her, but she definitely likes me. Oh, I see. You ever been in that situation? Well, you know, not not exactly. Uh, yeah, some, something close to it. Well, what do you do? I mean, how do you know what is cool? 
You know, son, there's a real simple rule of thumb. You never start a relationship that breaks up another one. And you never let a woman come between you and your friends. Babe, you smell that? Yeah. I wrote these cooking. It's probably to apologize, huh? Mm. I won't count on that. No, it does smell good. Didn't see the point of staying where I wasn't welcome. Ruthie, P.S. Even if it is my own sister's house. Bird! Good morning. Hey, Terry. Yes, Bird. I just wanted to warn you. Lem pissed off Aunt Ruth when she left. I pissed her off? What did he say? A long story, but since she already wore out a welcome at Max's, you must be next. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm getting up and dressed right now, taking her to the Marriott as soon as she knocks on my door. All right, well, call me later. Okay, bye. Oh, boy. Damon? Damon? Yeah? Damon, I just... Aunt Ruthie! <laughs> Good morning. Yes, I guess it is. Morning, Terry. Morning. When did you get here? Not long ago. He wanted to wake you up. But I said anybody who works as hard as you do should get as much shut eye as you can. Oh. Surprise those circles under your eyes aren't worse. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Damon? Hmm? Um, I wish you could trust just... Okay. No, no. Let him finish his cereal. He ain't got nothing I haven't seen before. Besides, I was just telling him about when I was singing on the riverboat. And I married the captain. Ah, it was husband number two. Mm -hmm. We've been sitting here. <laughs> How'd you get here? Cap, I figured it'd be quieter here, you not having any kids and all. Okay, fine. Damon, when you're finished, would you take Auntie Ruthie's bags up to her room? Yeah, sure. Maybe we can talk later about, you know, what you're getting yourself into here with this one. <laughs> well... This ain't the first or the second time that she has tripped down the aisle. Aunt Ruthie. Yeah. Now, I, I don't know, but you may finally be the right one. But you could also be wrong man number three. Excuse me? Come over here, son. I want to talk to you. Okay. I know you heard about Russell, the big ball player. Yes. Right, yes. yeah. Well, he was a very little man. Actually, you know he took alimony from her? Yeah. Can you believe that? Alimony from a woman? Sounds awful. You know, actually, Aunt Ruthie, he paid me back. But what about the other one? Miles. Oh, Miles. He put himself through lawyer school. What oh. for? To blow a damned horn? <laughs> Do you have to put yourself through law school to play a horn? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tell me, what do you do? Um, I'm a sports agent. Uh huh. Sports agent. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. Terry. Yeah. That's pretty toenail polish. Oh, thank you. That fungus ever come back? <laughs> fungus. Terrible time to get rid of it. When she was a teenager, we had to soak her feet every day like she was a little old lady. Couldn't even wear open toed shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm gonna go get dressed. Okay? You think about what you want for this dinner. You too. So you getting with Lauren today? Nah. Uh, how's that going anyway? Man, she might be the one. Good. Good. Now look, I got a problem. Talk to the doctor. Um, well, you remember that cat Mike I told you about at Lakeside, right? Uh-huh. Well, see, he has this girl he's been seeing. But she's been pushing up on me. Prep school girls ain't nothing. But then I guess the guys ain't either. If your man Mike ain't delivering to his girl, someone else is gonna have to. Uh, right, right. I mean, if she's made it clear that she's into you, you gotta give her what she wants. That's the rule. I, but you'd be pissed if you were Mike, right? If I was Mike, my girl wouldn't be pushing up on some other dude. Yo, Reggie, come on. Y'all got next. Everything cool between you two? Pretty cool, yeah. I mean, I'm still working 16 hours a day and haven't set a wedding date. And now Auntie Ruthie has decided to tell Damon every gory detail of my life. But other than that... All right, cool. You want to tell me why you're really here and stop beating around the bush? What, can I just check up on you? Look, you're here about something that involves me or my sisters. So please, just spit it out. Have a seat. Look, I hate feeling like a damn <coughs> snitch. I'm running to you like a little pussy, you know what I mean? What is it, Lem? Remember the DUI Damon got? I picked him up from the police station, remember? Right. A few days after that, Damon called me for a tow. He had been drinking and ran off the road. And you didn't think to mention this before? He asked me not to. And I mean, I felt like I owed him since his father you know, help me out when I was locked up. So you kept me in the dark over some jailhouse code of honor? No, no, I checked him. And he swore that he had this under control. Yeah, he did. Look, Terry, trust. I did not want to have to come to you like this. But when you mentioned how bubbly he was at that party, I felt he like... He wasn't drinking at that party. I, I was with him, that's all I'm saying. Look, I hear you. Hey. But my wife would not forgive me if something happened to you because of Damon's drinking. So I had to come correct with everything I know, all right? I'm glad you told me. Okay. Okay, everybody. Much success. Okay. <laughs> to a lucrative campaign. That's right. Do you want to add anything, Mr. Johnson? Let's design some kick-ass shoes. <laughs> I drink to that. All right, chin chin. Mm. <laughs> That's funny. So, uh, you weren't too freaked out the other night, were you? No. Not at all. Because we didn't want to offend you or your fiance. No harm, no foul. It's, um, it's just not our thing. You know, that's. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Hey, Mark. Come and uh, drink another toast with me. Uh, all right. Um, okay, thanks. Johnson deal. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Well, need I remind you it's the biggest deal I've closed since joining CGR? Come on. Have you been drinking? Why? Because I smell alcohol on your breath. Have a sip of champagne, we celebrate. 
And because Lim pulling my car out of a ditch the same week I had a DUI would certainly make me wonder if I had a problem. I had a sip of champagne, you know, we were celebrating the deal closing. And a couple of nights ago, at Winda's party, were you celebrating that night, too? That was, it was... No more lies, Damon. Is it the job? Is it me? Tell me what the hell this is about. It's not about anything. Are you still going to AA? Yes, I am. I want the name of your sponsor. What? No. Why? Because you don't have one? Such a snake. I still can't believe you called. Uh, well, I thought about it for a while. I'm really glad you did. Because I really like you. Um, I like you too. Oh, look what I brought. Oh, cool. Invisible man. I will page you. Actually, I'm done, but I was wondering if you could read it to me. A what? Please. Um, okay. I might as well start with the prologue first. I am an invisible man. No, I am not a spook like those who haunted Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, nor am I one of your Hollywood movie ectoplasms. I am a man of substance, of flesh and bone, fiber and liquids. And I might even be said to possess a mind I am invisible. Matt, please let me be invisible. Why are you stopping? Go on. I'm invisible. Um, Reggie's here. Hey, man. I knew that Mike's story was bull. <sighs> um, look, I'll be right back. Hey, Reggie. Hey, Reggie. Hey, Reggie, man. What's up? You tell me. Hey, look, nothing's going on, I swear. You were always the worst liar. Look, Reggie, I'm not lying. But remember what you said? That advice you gave my friend? Yeah, so I guess you get the best hand on this one. Look, I'm not trying to have the best hand. And I'm not gonna let some girl come between me and my boy. And I'm not either. So if this is a problem, then... Just be careful. She did it to me. She'll do it to you. Now, this is whack. I mean, Reggie's my boy. There's no way I'm letting this happen. On second thought, maybe I'll straighten this out tomorrow. Will you read to me some more? Uh, yeah. <laughs> when they approach me, they see only my surroundings. Themselves are figments of their imagination. Indeed, everything and anything except me. We need to put in the, the purchase order for those hair gaskets, and that would be dinner. What the hell did you tell Terry? What I had to. Well, she's gonna make a way bigger deal out of this now. Come on, fellas. Next time, I like a little heads up if you're gonna sell me out. You got that heads up this time. Look, fellas, we don't have to do this. What are you talking about? Man, I came to you, and all you had was excuses. Not once did you say that you had to check yourself or that you would never hurt Terry. So I did what I had to do, and that's protect my family. Oh, well, I'm Terry's family now. Then do what you have to do and get your shit together. Get... Did you really take Terry to an orgy? I guess the saying is, all's well that ends well. So far, things aren't going so well, and it doesn't look like the craziness is going to end anytime soon. Spoon. Spoon. Uh, well, now let's all sit down. Oh, Aunt Ruthie yeah. is hungry. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. 
Well, Mr. Carter, glad you could join us. I was still in the corner was out of French on ice cream. And I didn't want to have Ruthie on me for not bringing exactly what she told me to Thank bring. Thank you, baby. Would you please have a seat? Uh, okay, let's uh, get started before it gets cold. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe it Seems won't be so bad after all. Oh. Is that good? They didn't have no Um, I, uh, I would like to propose a toast. Or maybe our hell would break loose. Uh, but we didn't say grace. Uh, this is my dinner table, boy. We will say grace when I say we say grace. Okay. Oof. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Toast. To Terry. The only one of my sister's children who knows how to make an old woman feel welcome. The only one. <clears throat> you have made a success of yourself. <laughs> and you've managed to pull the entire family up with you. I can see that you accept only the best and you expect the best from your loved ones. And that's why we love you so much. Thank you, Aunt Ruthie. <laughs> Mm. Terry. Uh, Could have been worse. More? Could have been much worse. Who would we be without mm. her? Mm. More Aunt Ruthie? Yeah, please, thank you. Okay. Uh, can't all that stuff that was happening. Okay. Maxine. Yes. Dear one. Oh, dear one. Oh, do you have anything in mind? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, oh, like you told me. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Let me make sure you get those things. Is it me or is this the most delicious wine? Good. Terry, did you pick this? No, I wanted to. Terry chose it. Brooke, pass me the wine, please. My glass seems to be empty. Honey, your glass is empty because you weren't here when we got started. Do you want some water or some, some juice? The boy said he wants some wine. Give him some wine. You all know I love Terry. And this family. That doesn't mean I owe any of you an explanation. Or that any of you should decide if I drink or not. I mean, it's just a glass of wine. It's not I... about the wine. <laughs> Thank you for the food, Emma. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, let us uh, hold hands and pray. Let's bow our heads. Okay. Hold hands. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food that you have set before us for the nourishment of our bodies and to feed the troubled and hungry soul. Amen. 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 I don't know where he went. Well, he'll be back, that's for damn sure. Terry, I know that you know that I'm a little rough around the edges sometimes. Yeah. You do know that I love this family. I know. I just want the best for all of you. Terry, I don't know Damon. I don't know a damn thing about him. I don't know if he's an alcoholic, a drug addict. But I do know that's a hard road to hoe. Yeah. Maybe it is a good idea for you two to just put things off for a little while, you know? Give him time. Well, let him get himself together. He is young, darling. So what is the hurry? You got nothing but time. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I... I just... I don't know what to do, Aunt Ruthie. Uh -huh. I know, baby. Mm. Believe me. I know. Terry, look at me. Look at me. Please, Terry. Just give it to God. Yes. Let him work it out. Yeah. Okay? Is 
there anything that I can get you? Um, <laughs> Yourself, some rest. Okay. Thank you for everything. All right. I'm really going to miss you already. Good night. Good night, Terry. Have you been? Well, first let me apologize for everything, okay? God, that's it's not enough, Damon. I know it isn't. It's not enough for you or for me. Look, I just spent three hours with my AA sponsor. He keeps stressing honesty and truth, so. Okay. So here it is. The real truth. Yes, yes. I stopped going to AA. I've been drinking. But as of tonight, it stops. All right? How? With a lot of hard work. And your support. You have that. I love you. I'll do whatever I have to to support you in this. I love you so much. I love you so much. I know. Oh. Set a wedding date right now. <laughs> what? Let's do it right now. Um. What? What? Three months from Saturday. Let's do it. Let's, okay, let's do um, it. Okay. Three months from Saturday. Three months from Saturday. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. okay? okay. <laughs> let's do it, you me. Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm-mm. 